Okay, so the final part in this series is the x-axis. And I think this is probably going to be pretty easy. Let's go ahead and remove this screw. Put that there. So first things first, we need to remove these two screws because the the two mounting holes are behind this plate. Uh, 3 sixteenths will work for this. Yeah, 3 sixteenths. Not sure what the easiest way. I'm just gonna if I bring this. Okay. So this has um, these channels milled into both sides, and and that's so this cover plate can fit onto it. So I'm just gonna push the cross slide out. Let's see if so I'll push that in. Hot somewhere and I can't tell where. I ended up having to pull the cross slide most of the way off to get this. I'm not sure what it was getting caught on, but... And I just lost the screw. Mm. Where did I put that? Well, and that screw is kind of important. Oh, it was right in front of me. Alright. I always get so caught up in the process. And I forget where I put things. I spend more time looking for things than I do anything else. Right. Uh, what is 
set. Getting caught on. Oh. I see. I don't know why, but that seems crooked. Okay. Well, I'm gonna leave that loose for now until I get these two screws in there. I think it was these two. That might be right. Yeah. So you want to pull the washers off of these. They won't fit. Okay. I'm just tightening it until I see it pull in and then I'm going to come to the other side and snug it up so that the screw is straight instead of uh, a little crooked. those and those these two are six mil and put that back because I'm pretty much done want to move it to make sure it's not binding anywhere take it off. Oh shoot. <sighs> oh, it totally feels like it's binding somewhere.
Oh, I think it's this plate. There it is. So apparently I had it too tight on this plate that it was causing it to bind. <laughs> it looks like right there. So that must be why this I see. Okay, so this grub screw here seems to push down the uh, the black plate, the way cover plate, I guess you could call it. It's still pretty tight. Cause I want to make sure that this is as tight as I can get it. So for now, I'm going to put this in here so I don't lose it. Put this cover on, and that's pretty much it for now. Um, the fitment on this plate's really good. It's flush. And there, I mean, there really wasn't... I guess it, the process couldn't have been any simpler uh, to install this kit. I'll probably go back through and twerk some stuff down and uh but other than that yeah this is the kit i'll uh probably get it running a mock 3 first and then <coughs> once i know everything's good uh move over to linux cnc and um let's just do a close up with the mount not on my head. Alright, uh, this will be the last part in the install series, and thanks for watching guys.